Eight project hold of Taka 4,826 crore approved in the ECNIC meeting chaired by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. BNP is the trusted address of militancy, says Zubaydul Qadir. Our Malik has destroyed the culture of democracy, allies folk rule. Foreign Minister calls the militants snatching an accidental case are just law enforcer to do their duties efficiently. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV news. I am Farhani Yasmin with you in the newsroom today watching headlines. Now the details. The Executive Committee of the National Economic Council has approved the eight project at a cost of taka of 4,826 crore, 21 lakh. This project were approved in the meeting held in a NEC conference room of Sher Bangla Nagar in the capital under the chairmanship of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. After the meeting, Planning Minister M. M. Anand presented details to the journalist. He said that for the implementation of the eight approved project, government funding will be taka 2,341 crore, 2 lakh of foreign funding will be taka 2,207 crore and the organization own funding will be taka 278 crore 19 lakh. The planning minister said that the prime minister has given instruction that the duration of the project should not be extended. <laughs> BNP is the trusted address of militants and Awam Malik is working to fight against it, says Awam Malik General Secretary Abadul Qadir. Also, the Road Transport and Bridge Minister said this while participating in the district Awam Malik training Al conference at Lokhipur Stadium today, calling on leaders and workers to be ready. ready. The General Secretary of Awam Malik said the month of December is coming and the bad forces are entering the field. Qadir is currently in Lokipur to attend the Ternial Conference being held after seven years. The conference was attended by senior leader of the party. The Ternial Conference of Mendigon Chupochela Omelega will be held tomorrow. As a result, leaders and activists getting a ready centering conference. Meanwhile, all preparation have been completed. So beside Aboriginal District Awam League, President Abul Hassanat Abdullah will be the chief guest in the conference. On the other hand, the whole city is covered with a banner, poster, billboard, prospective candidates will welcome the central leaders along with the chief guest. Awamalik has destroyed the culture of democracy, says BNP Secretary General Major Fokral Islam Alamge. If the government does not solve the political problem, the existence of the nation will be endangered. He said this to the reporters while visiting BNP Standing Committee member Iqbal Hassan Tukus, wife at his residence in Mohammedpur today. Major Fokral said Awamalik is in a deep crisis and he has also put the country in crisis. Terming the incident of snatching militant by throwing spray at the eyes of a police as an accidental case, the foreign minister Dr. Ek Abdul Momen said law enforcers of the country are discharging their duties very efficiently. He also said some journalists were complied for ambassador to comment on Bangladesh internal issues. The minister said this in response to the question from reporters following his speech as the chief guest at the district literary fair at the Silet district stadium today. Meanwhile, Shubrata Bhoumi, Kachuan Secretary of the Ministry of the Culture, was present at the special guest under the chairmanship of the Deputy Commissioner of Silet, Mujibur Rahman. এটা একটা দুর্ঘটনা দুনিয়া সব দেশে দুর্ঘটনা হয় আমাদের আপনার সংবাদ মানে CID believes that militants can communicate using a VPN this was said by the head of the organization Mohammad Ali Mia in a press conference organized at the CID headquarters in the afternoon today he moreover said due to this reason no intelligence information was received in advance regarding the military robbery apart from this the CID has arrested six people in various areas of Kumila and Dhaka in the case of money laundering business known as Hundi they also believe that a gang has smuggled 
around three crore Taka Atro Hundi in the past three months. Viewers now, international news. The death toll from Monday's powerful earthquake in Indonesia capital Jakarta has risen to 252. Besides, hundreds of people were also injured. Authorities say the death toll may rise. Many people are still buried under the rubble. Rescue work is underway. The epicenter of the earthquake was the mountainous city of Cianjur, a populous province in Indonesia. The injured were treated in a parking lot of Cianjur Hospital throughout the night. Health workers also provide services to patients by touch light on the sidewalk. The hospital did not avoid it. At least 38 people have been killed in a factory fire in China's Henan province. Two people were injured in this incident and two others were also found missing. A fire broke out in a factory in Ayang City around 4.22 p.m. on Monday that came under control at 11 p.m. However, no further information about the fire was given. The report also said that the two people injured in the fire are being treated at the hospital. The cause of the fire is yet to be known and but some suspects they have been taken into police custody earlier in march 2019 78 people died in explosion at a chemical factory in yangcheng china Security forces have clashed with the anti-government protesters in Kurdish dominated city in Iran. 30 protesters have been killed in a firing in the previous week. Human rights organizations claim that the revolutionary guards are using heavy weapons, including machine guns, to suppress the protest. Seven people died last week in the town of Zaban Road, and heavy weapons, including machine guns, can be seen being transported in trucks in various villages of Kurdistan. The death of Mansha Amini, an Iranian teenager in a police custody, sparked protest in the country last September. About 450 deaths and more than 17,000 people have been arrested in this incident. We are about to the end the headlines once again. Eight project worth of Taka for 1826 crore approved in the ECNIC meeting chaired by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. BNP is the trusted address of militancy, says Ubaid al Qadir. Awami League has destroyed the culture of democracy, a league's folk rule. Foreign Minister calls a military snatching and accidental case are just law enforcement to do their duties efficiently. Thanks for being with us to join with my TV news on live YouTube slash my TV media news to watch all our programs is YouTube slash my TV Bangla Facebook slash my TV Bangla our next bulletin will be telecast 7 30 p.m. Stay connected and Allah Hafiz.